Hey guys, this is a continuation of the oil catch can video. Now we are going to be doing the actual intake valve cleaning. Now, there's direct injection, meaning that uh, there's no gasoline spraying on the intake valves, which will cause them to carbon up and which will cause the car to run rough. You could get misfire codes even after you change your spark plugs and coils, things like that. Um, I'm not having that issue yet, but this is preventative maintenance and this is something you should do. Um, give or take every once a year or every other year, truthfully speaking, to avoid that. Um, this can cost uh, thousands of dollars to get your intake valves walnut blasted at a dealership. So these are where the injectors are. If your car has port injection, they would usually be somewhere around here near the intake manifold spraying that gas into the ports now our issue is our intake area is right here but this is for our turbocharger we cannot put our intake valve cleaner in here our throttle body is actually right here but the problem is this is a charge pipe this handles boost pressure meaning that i can't actually take that off the car will run really bad if i do so the only thing i think i can do here is remove this i want to start off by saying this is the intake valve cleaner i'm going to be using there are others but i've seen really good reviews on this and i'm interested in trying it out so what i'm going to do here is this has a straw with the elbow in it usually if you had a throttle body yummy yeah, I mean with a, a simple um air hose you could just wrap it on there but for this situation i'm going to do a little bit differently so to get to get to these this back one's going to be a little bit difficult because of that bracket right here there's a um i'll tell you what tools you need you need a t25 an eight millimeter let's pull this out t25 and eight millimeter um a t20 and there's a screw in here you unscrew it. Uh, I'll show you everything when I put it back, but you unscrew that. And then there's an 8 mil right there and right here. And then we can move this. I'm not trying to completely take it out the way, but just enough to move it so that um, we can get access to this bolt. Now I'm going to take these two off. Yep, these are T25, so just unscrew these two and we'll pop this out. Tab right up under here and then shimmy it out and that pulls out just like that. Only thing is I don't want to lose this. Probably going to have to put a zip tie on that because it's not a lot of play. So give me a second. Okay, just simply zip tied this up here so it doesn't go anywhere. Got our sensor here. Now we can work on pulling this out. So I'm just going to undo these two screws and then we'll just pop this up. All right. The, you know, this is my little extension right here. Got it right here. And then I went behind here. And just when you move this a little bit, the thing will go right to it. It'll go right down into it. So that's how I got to that. One of those times we're going to use a little bit of brake cleaner. And that will help the, the rubber the plastic kind of work its way out. Just keep. Ah, there we go. And it's out. I think this will be considered a map, a map sensor, mass air, mass absolute pressure sensor. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. But um, now we're going to get started with putting our intake our mass our intake cleaner through here and then we're gonna seal it up. So if we put this in a safe clean dry spot. Alright like I stated before we're gonna be using this intake cleaner intake valve cleaner. Um the one thing before we continue once you take that sensor off your check engine light will come on so you're gonna need some kind of tool to clear your check engine light out before you get started. I just want to mention that um these are the instructions right here i will follow them best what best as way i can picture of this and post it but first thing we got to do is we got the engine off um we're about to get our straw through our throttle body 
we're gonna have to hang this up on the um on the hood latch um we're gonna do how you need to do with the um uh how you start it do not put this on your mat do not put this in front of your mass airflow sensor and once we get everything running it's going to take up to nine minutes um and we're going to have to bring it up to three times factory idle speed most cars usually idle around six seven hundred rpm so seven times three is like 2100 uh, revs um and then uh after nine minutes set a timer and then with engine off turn blue switch back to zero okay cool so um the big thing is i'm gonna be doing this by myself so i'm gonna use a pole to hold this in place i'm just gonna do everything and then i'll do it i'll keep listing steps as i go but now it's time to pull this thing out and set this thing up so that we can do what we need to do pull this out of the box like this there's a hanger on it hang it right here on that latch there's a straw that comes off of it to reach it all the way down in here like so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap this with like a paper towel of some sort so that i can keep this hole like relatively plugged there we go that's simply how i'm gonna seal it just gonna put that to the side like that and um hook piece should be nice and firm I'm gonna wrap a zip tie on it too just so it doesn't go anywhere and just like that it's sitting in there nice and snug shouldn't go anywhere shouldn't want to move or anything so out of the engine bay one thing this thing did say real quick is to shake the can kind of lightly so I'm just going to shake that can just a little bit. Now, I said turn this can to the eye. Alright, so we turn to the eye and then turn this all the way to the eye. Now we start the engine. And it's idling normally. Good. All right, the engine is running. This has been set. Now, within one minute, this is gonna start pouring out. All right, with the pole like this, keeping the revs at about close to 25. We obviously see our issue right here. Now, let's see if the fluid's coming out. And our fluid is coming out. All right. The pole is giving me a little bit of an issue, so I'm going to have to sit here and hold my foot here for that nine minutes. So I'll get back to you guys when the timer's done. I'm going to go in the car. I'm going to turn it off now. It's been nine minutes. And as you can see here, there's still a little bit of fluid left, but it's kind of squirting. So I'm going to turn it off now. I'm going to close this. We're just going to take this out. Let us get our sensor out. Now, truth be told, can you clean this? Yes, you can. Am I gonna clean it? No, I am not. Um, BM, everything BMW is super sensitive. I'm scared to even try to clean this, so I'm not gonna touch it. But we're gonna insert this back in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit of silicone so that this goes in nice and smooth. And we're just going to. Notice I'm not actually touching the sensor. I'm just gonna spread this a little bit, push this down, and it went in perfectly fine. No issues. Beautiful. Next up is to reinsert these. Be very careful not to drop this. All right, and right 
here. I'm just gonna move you a little bit. And we're just gonna snug it down just like this. Get our little cutter right here and cut the zip tie. There we go. And now, just going to reinstall. There you go. And that went in perfectly fine. This goes in right here. Eight mil. And just snug this down. This is our little shield protector. And the bolt hole is right there. It's really small, but it's there. These are the codes that you will probably end up getting once you take off that um, that that sensor. So now I'm going to clear it. Yes. That the vehicle be switched off and then back on again. Okay. Turn the car off. Turn the car back on again. All right, once I cleared the codes, that error message did go right away. So now let's start her up. I'm just gonna give it a couple blips to let that stuff filter through. See if it idles well. And just like that, it's idling smoothly again. No check engine light. We are all set here. You will know that this is you will know that this worked because the can feels very hollow. Before I did this, it, it felt very heavy. And it felt heavy, but it had a nice weight to it. Um you know, I, I think from what I've seen with this, I, I recommend it. Everything went smoothly. Um, it did its job. You can see the fluid coming out. Um, I mean, I hope this helps you guys. If you have a BMW with, you know, with uh, direct injection, this might be a go-to to try out. So thanks for watching, you guys. Till next time, out.